I'm Megan. And I'm Dina. And we are the faces behind Pretty Productive. Uh, Pretty Productive is our Etsy shop where we sell all sorts of different productivity tools. Uh, what we're going to do today, because my mom here has been uh, filming budget with me videos, um, so you haven't actually seen her face. Here it is. <laughs> Um, so today we're going to be doing kind of an introduction of who we are um, Just so you guys can have some background about us and then also give you some sneak peek for our products for our Saturday or small business Saturday sale. That's a lot of us is small business Saturday sale yeah. and uh, so what we're gonna do first is kind of a little introduction and I was going to say that our fans sent in these questions, but they didn't these are just random ones that it's good I came honest. up with out the top of my head. So uh, the first one is, if you were a baseball player, what would your walkout song be? That's a great question, Megan, and I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh. Um, like your ultimate pump up jam. My ultimate pump up jam. Well, it's sad to say it'd probably be a gospel song because that's what I love. And it would probably be Oh My Soul, which isn't really a pump up song, but it really does. It speaks to me. Get you going. It's me going. Mine's Freedom by Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar. That makes sense. Um, okay, so the next question is, if you had to pick one creator on Instagram, YouTube, wherever, maybe just artists in general, mm -hmm. to have a lunch with, who would you pick and why? Well, I think the person that I have followed and admired taking her classes would be Ali Edwards. I love her style. I love her take on memory keeping and storytelling. I love the fact that because I have followed her for so many years, um, when she was at Creating Keepsakes until she went on to her own business, um, I have many, many scrapbooks and memory keeping that I have done because I love her style. It's simple, it's to the point, it's not about the sticker or the die cut, but it's really about getting the story down. So if I could have one person that I could just spend some time with and be creative with, it would be Ellie Edwards. And who would you choose? Um, I would choose Anna Rifle Bond of Rifle Paper Company because if you know me, you know that Rifle Paper Company is my jam. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with everything that they have. Um, I'll put a link down in the description box to their website mm -hmm. so that you can go look at all the pretty goodies. Because mm -hmm. they're my biggest inspiration to love them so much. They're the only reason I would move to Florida. The only reason. That's okay. about it. Okay. Um, okay, my last question here is, mm -hmm. what are your top three must-haves? to bring on a vacation? Camera or phone. And this is, this is saying like you have power and you have electricity. Okay, so, okay. So it would be my camera or my phone, probably my phone, because it would be dual purpose. Protein bars, because God forbid I not eat on a regular basis. It's very important to eat, have regular eating half times. And my third would probably be, depending on where we're going, either a really good book or really good music loaded up on my phone. And what would yours be? Um, well, one would be my phone, mm -hmm. because my phone. Um, it's assuming that the audio, like audiobooks and podcasts are like not separate from that, because I'm mm -hmm. an audiobook junkie. Um, my iPad and my Apple mm -hmm. Pencil. That's one because mm -hmm. you know you can't do one of those. Mm -hmm. And I would say sunscreen. Mm -hmm. That's very good because I'm terrified of the sun. I've made you that way. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah one good important. sunburn, that'll do it for you. Yeah, <laughs> you live with the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, uh. Now we're going to get into some of the products that we will be launching. Uh, some of them are already up on our Etsy shop. Um, so you may have seen them if you've dabbled in our Etsy shop before. So some of these are already posted um, and then some of them are brand new. Brand new designs for um, previously posted 
uh, things like our monthly budget kits and our monthly planner kits. Um, and then some very exciting new uh, envelopes that you will be able to buy um, individually instead of in a set. Um, and a few other sticker goodies. So we're excited to share them with you. And just kind of as an upfront, a lot of the new things that we're bringing to the shop are requests that we've had from clients. So because we are a newer shop that is still growing, we do offer a lot of customized stickers or envelopes and things like that. So these are requests that we've had that we've been able to accommodate for new clients. And we really felt like there was a need out there. There wasn't a lot of shops that were who were small enough that they could still customize or were willing to. Um, so we felt like that was a great um, way to really introduce people to our products and our shop. And it's this whole shop started as a passion project for Megan and I. We, um, I love the budgeting piece of it and the planner piece of it, the paper, and she loves the creative part with the designing and the drawing and, and all that part, you know, Procreate and Canva and all of those. These are, those are really her passion projects. So together we decided that we could both have a passion to do something and we could do it together, which is always great to have mother and daughter time as well. And with that, let's uh, get into the products. Okay, so let's get started with some of the products that we have either recently listed or are about to list in preparation for our Small Business Saturday uh, kind of sale that we're doing. Um, first up that I'm gonna show you is these handy dandy checkbox um, stickers. So these are actually um, an inch and a half wide and roughly a quarter inch tall, maybe a little bit more. Um, and they are designed to fit either in the daily section of your Erin Condren planner or um, in the calendar section, um, just in the box. Um, and we'll actually link some, we'll link all of this to our shop. So no worries about that. You'll be able to find it. Um, I just want to kind of run through some of the uh, color combinations that we have. Um, and again, all the specs are going to be on the website, um, on our Etsy shop site. So if you're, um, interested in seeing like how big they are in comparison to the other stickers, it's all gonna be there for you. So the first one that we have is this um, two-toned yellow, uh, which is super fun. And then this nice muted gray, which I'm a fan of kind of monochromatic um, colors. So this one's probably one of my favorites. Also very cute is this pink here. So a light and then a darker pink, kind of this burnt sienna orange with kind of like a taupey um, color here for the uh, the dollar sign. And then this is where you would write in, for example, uh, phone bill right here. And then you would write in, you know, however much it is. And then you can check box or check that box whenever it is paid. Then we have kind of this lilac purple. This is really pretty. Kind of a darker and a lighter blue. This nice teal color. And then finally this um, kind of emerald green and seafoam green kind of combination. So these are really uh, kind of part of our functional planner stickers. Um, they kind of cross over between budget and planner, um, but either way they can fit in your Erin Condren planner. That's kind of what they're designed for, quote unquote, um, but they can really be used in any planner that you have or bullet journal or whatever it might be. Those are great. Next ones that I'm going to show you are some of our new script stickers. And the script stickers are, um, it's in one of my favorite fonts. It's this super cute font here. I'm gonna hold it up so you can kind of see it. So it's kind of this fun, bouncy script um, that I feel like everyone kind of is leaning into this design. Um, so it's something that my mom and I both really loved about it. Um, so in this one, this is our kind of appointment. So we have some dentist ones with the little tooth icon. We have some doctor ones um, with the stethoscope. And then we just have some blank ones. So it just says appointment with no icon. So you can kind of use that for whatever appointment you might have. It's not going to be specific to either one. 
This is for all of you cash stuffers out there. Um, this is where you can use this to plan out when you're gonna be doing your cash envelope stuffing. Um, kind of planning that with your budget so that way you stay on track. And all of these are, um, you'll kind of see the cut line here. I don't know if you can see it in the light, um, but it's a matte sticker with black writing. So it looks like a piece of paper whenever you put it down. Um, and the cut lines, we've been really, really careful about these cut lines because we don't want it to be too bulky. Uh, we want it to just kind of fit seamlessly on the page. This next one here, it looks like yesterday, is um, Vacation. So you can see all these vacation. I hope that every single one of you uses all these vacation stickers. I wish I had that much vacation, that'd be nice. This is for a conference call. Uh, both my mom and I are both on conference calls all the time. So we were like, we definitely need this sticker at least for ourselves. So we figured we'd add this to the shop and someone else will definitely use that. This is our meeting sticker. This one was one of the um, requested ones from uh, one of our customers on Etsy. Um, she actually reached out to us and said, hey, this is what I use for my planner. Could you create a sticker for us? Um, we said, absolutely, let's do it. Um, and she requested paychecks um, one through five, and then there's um, six of each of them on the page. Um, so that way you can mark whenever, this would be great for someone who doesn't have um, a monthly or a bi-weekly pay schedule. This could be something that is um, kind of a quote unquote irregular pay or untypical um, paycheck cycle. So that would be great for someone like that. Here's our payday sticker and we'll kind of zoom in here and you can see it has this cute little money icon next to it. Kind of celebrate payday. And then this is one that we think that all of our budgeters will really love. Um, it's a no spend day. Um, so anybody following the kind of cash only system, um, that's kind of a, a rite of passage is being able to have um, no spend days where you just spend zero money throughout the day. Um, so these will kind of help you plan for those. So you can put them in your planner, you'll know what to prep for so that way you aren't caught off guard with any unexpected expenses. And these two have, um, there's two different types of icons on here. There's one that's just like a um, X out here, and then there's one with a dollar with the X out too. Super cute. And the next step, um, if you have been following any of my mom's stuff, she's, guys, when I say deeply obsessed with foiling, I mean super obsessed. Um, like sometimes I feel like she might love foiling more than she loves me as her daughter. Um, but thankfully for you guys, you get to see the fruits of that love um, in these adorable foiled stickers. Um, and these are workout kind of um, icons here. So you'll see that there is uh, kind of a sneakers, kind of make sure that I get that in the frame, uh, kettlebells, like an Apple watch or fitness watch, um, some dumbbells, and then a scale. Um, so these come in a few different types of foil. So we have this one is the um, iridescent or holographic. You'll kind of see both turns used. Um, so that's really cute. This one is our rose gold. So you can catch the light, there we go, nice and shiny. This one is silver. And then this one is gold. So we, we love this stuff. We are kind of obsessed. I say my mom, I throw her into the bus, but we're both obsessed with foil. Anything sparkly or glittery or shiny is kind of right up our alley. So these ones have a couple different names that we've been using them. Um, essentially, the idea behind them was because in the Erin Condren planner, and I'll kind of pull this up here, when what we were seeing was um, task box stickers are across this um, quarter box here where it's the hour time frame in the vertical layout. Um, we were seeing things that were covering up the timestamp, which we think kind of defeats the purpose um, in, in some ways. So uh, what we wanted to do is create a sticker that has the cutout for the time. Um, so you could block this off and you know use this as like a special time in, at this five o'clock hour 
but you could also see the time there. So uh, the stickers come like this. And whenever you take it off, you'll actually see, it's kind of hard to see in the pictures on the photos, but basically this um, little box here will kind of rip away from the sticker whenever you are um, peeling it off. So that way you have that box. And then you can just put it right on the time box that you're looking for. Um, so you can see the time and then you can also write down whatever you have in that hour. Um, so we really, really love these. So we have these in a couple fun colorways. Um, this is kind of like an electric green, um, blue, and then um, I called this raspberry in the listing. It's, it's kind of like a, um, kind of like a magenta, but um, a little bit more pink to it, I think. This one, again, for any of my muted tone people, this is gonna be right up your alley. It's kind of like a taupe, a deep teal, and then um, kind of like a light tangerine orange. This one's kind of like a, like an, I don't know, it reminds me of an ice cream shop. I don't know why that's like the first thing that comes to my mind, but a pink, a purple, and then a blue, which are super fun. These ones are also very cute. This is a gray, a muted yellow, and then a blue. Oh, and a couple of repeats here. So put those to the side. I was thinking that we had a little bit too many there, but here are all of our colorways for that. And again, these are all in the shop as well. Next up is another um, functional sticker. Um, these are the half and quarter boxes for the Erin Condren planner. Um, so this measures um, an inch and a half wide and then um, an inch and um, a half an inch for the height on these stickers. I take that back. A half an inch on here and a quarter inch. I was corrected, so sorry everybody. <laughs> I'm keeping that in the video too. <laughs> um, but so again, this is a half an inch and a quarter inch because I can't eyeball measurements apparently. So it comes in a couple different colors. Um, these are gonna be two colors per page as well. So there's kind of a mix of them. So this one's gonna be like a gray and then kind of a teal or a, yeah, like a teal green, seafoam green. This is um, kind of an electric blue and green. These are fun. This is kind of the same colors. These are just a little bit more muted. So again, these are gonna be something if you are more of like a not as bright colors, you, you would love these. And then um, kind of a bright teal. And then this is an orange with some white polka dots on it. So it's so cute. And then a red and gray, which makes me super nostalgic for high school because these were my high school colors. I just love that a lot. So again, these are the half and quarter boxes. And again, they are intended for or measured to fit into the Erin Condren planner, but they can really be used in any planner that you have, um, whether it be the Happy Planner or, um, I mean, we have used every single kind of planner under the sun, I could tell you that. Um, but, or bullet journals or whatever um, kind of calendar system that you use. So they're super functional, but they're also very cute and add a little pop of color if that's what you're looking for. And then something I'm super excited about is um, kind of in our intro, we talked about how I'm kind of uh, been playing around with um, my iPad digital art stuff. Um, I kind of started a few years ago whenever I got an iPad Pro um, and the app that I use is Procreate um, to create these. Um, but I wanted to do some cute little illustration stickers for winter. Um, so these are all hand created. I made them by hand, um, so they were definitely a labor of love. Um, but these are all, um, again, handmade illustrations um, that are perfect for your planner or bullet journal or whatever it might be um, that you want some cute little winter themed stickers. Um, so all of these little elements are stickers so you can put, peel these off there's some snowflakes here uh, candy canes um, a little bit of mistletoe mittens scarf sweater all the coziness and then um, like cup of coffee here or tea or whatever it might be um, and then a little christmas tree and some presents um, so these are something that i'm super excited to bring in more um, illustration pieces because it is something that i spent a lot of time working on um, that is kind of my passion project if you will so I'm really excited to share these with you guys. Um, we also have on there some fall stickers. I know that we're kind of after Thanksgiving and things like that, but if you ever want to um, check out those fall stickers, they're up on the Etsy shop as well. 
So one of the first pro products that we brought into the shop were our laminated cash envelopes. And this is just based on a personal preference of something that I was using, that I was making for myself, and that I saw there was a lot of shops that were making them. So we kind of hesitated a little bit, but really decided that that was one thing that if you are starting this cash only journey, you need some sort of system. So I probably tried every wallet, clip, um, Dave Ramsey envelopes that were out there and there were things I liked about each one and there was things that were just not quite right. So this has been the best system for me and so we went ahead and rolled it out. So um, I use a Maldron, Filofax Maldron, or um, I think for the new year I'm gonna move into the uh, Safriano. Um, but all of our cash envelopes have a quarter inch um, laminate that we leave and we either hole punch them for you or we can trim that. Um, I like them in here and then that way you can just use this as your wallet. Um, and the rings are a personal size so pretty much the Maldron or the Safriano or a lot of the Recollections ones that are out there all work with the same six hole punch. So um, that is something that we can do and it's on our website where you'll see yes please or no thank you to put uh, to go ahead and punch the holes in them. Then we do offer six different fonts and six different foils for the labels. Um, so we have silver, we have kind of this teal, rose gold of course, a kind of a pink shade and then regular gold and then silver and then the fonts are listed as well as which foil you would like. And as Megan stated earlier, I get very excited when I get to foil. Um, our envelopes come in two ways. Well, currently they come in one way. It's a set of six, and then you also get six of the check registers, and there's it's on the front and the back. And so that just slips inside the envelope, and that's where you're gonna track what you're spending in your envelope. And they come as a set of six, so it is, the least expensive way to buy them is a set of six, but we were getting a lot of requests to have additional envelopes. So maybe they needed nine or they needed 10 or they wanted a themed envelope. So we are bringing those into the shop and this is something that we are working really hard. Um, we have them all made. We are just working to get them all listed. So um, on our shop, it says our processing time is I think uh, 14 days because it's kind of like standard Etsy. Um, we do all of our lamination before. We do print our stickers, but we try really hard to turn our orders around really quickly because I am not a patient person. When I do an order from a shop, I like want it the day I ordered it. I mean, I think Amazon has spoiled us all. So that is something we work really hard on and it's been a lot of our really positive feedback we have is how quickly we get the orders out because we know that if you, you're ordering something, you have a need for it. So, so these are just some examples. I'll just kind of quickly flip through um, the individual envelopes. Um, so there's a floral stack. I'm just gonna kind of go through these quickly and you'll be able to pick which ones you want. Um, there's some of these that I really wanted before we listed them, but uh, my daughter made me say no and put them in the shop. So these are the florals. And then of course we had to have one cactus because we live in Arizona. And then um, I was in Disneyland last week and we bought passes. So of course I had to do Disney. Um, so we have a different collection of Disney ones. And then travel. Well, we had different travel ones with like maps, um, road signs, tickets, directions, and then like places, looks kind of like a city. Um, we have two or three of most of these in the shop currently, um, but we can make additional when we sell out of those. But this is what we've got done to, to ship for the sale this weekend. And then holidays, I kind of split in between Christmas and regular uh, 4th of July. So we have both the flag and the stars, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and Valentine's Day. 
and I'm sure we missed many different holidays that we can add um, into the shop. Um, and then sports, so football, basketball, baseball, which is very big in my house, volleyball, and soccer. Um, my youngest daughter played club volleyball for years, played um, on the high school team varsity all through um, high school, grade school, started at the YMCA when she was like eight. Um, many, many dollars went to volleyball. So um, if you are a club sport family, you know exactly how much money you have to invest in those sports. So we did want to go ahead and do the envelopes for those. And then for Christmas slash winter, I kind of wanted to do a little bit that was kind of neutral, but then also something that's more like snowman, um, this red car with the tree on top, presents, Santa, and then more of a whimsical holiday look or Christmas look. And then because I have daughters and because I am a girl myself, there are so many times where, um, you know, I had different things that I was doing. So um, little um, LOLs, get it girl, yes girl, girls faces, girls bodies, which would be cute for clothing or for, you know, personal care. I'm so busy, mascara wands, lipsticks, glasses. Um, so those are what I'm calling the girl category. And then I have a miscellaneous category. So for pets, school, pineapples, just because I thought this was super cute. <laughs> birds, foiled birds, butterflies, and music. So those are going to be individual envelopes that are coming to the shop and we will have them listed kind of by the group that I just showed you, but um, they'll be coded so you can select the one that you want. Um, we will of course have all of our sets listed and we have some additional sets that we haven't listed yet that we've created so we'll go get those listed as well. So um, what we've kind of re really been expanding into right now are the budget kits and then kind of a planning kit that goes with it. So our budget kits come as a set of four. Um, so we have moved to removable paper on the budget kits or the planner kit. So um, I think in our description, we took out the fact that you should, wherever you put it down, you wanna leave it um, because we did recently switch to removable paper just so that um, you had some time to play around with it and get it exactly the way you wanted to. So the way our kits come, it comes with a, um, a headers and then these are the headers that we use. So weekly check-in, transaction log, monthly budget, cash envelopes, and then some additional ones. And I'll show you how these all lay down. Um, thin washi, and there's eight thin washi. The budget headers, so um, you know the head for the category and then the total for the category. And there is actually a couple extra of the category budget ones, and I did that because I tend to um, put these in different areas. So I put them in my transaction log, I put them in my sinking fund, so there's different areas that I like to add those to, so I just went ahead and put a couple different. There's the thick washi and there's six of the thick washi. So we sell them individually or we sell it as a kit. It is less expensive to buy it as a kit. Um, the other thing, there's a couple things that when we opened the shop, because I had been purchasing so many kits from other shops out there. And the thing that I found that by the time I got enough thick washi, thin washi, budget strips, um, the headers, I was easily spending $20, $25 uh, on a kit. And it could be for a week or it could be for the month. And then I still found that I was supplementing other things. So we really wanted it to be cost effective, but also to have everything you needed to lay down for a month. Um, but if you don't use thin washi, you can buy them separately too. So you're not buying something that you don't need. The second thing is I didn't want them to be month specific. So if, you know, Erin Condren has a color of the month and you'll find most shops will design around that color and we will obviously look at that color. 
But the other part of it is I have bits and pieces of so many kits. So if I had something for July, say, and I didn't use the July header, then I just have a lot of different pieces. So all, all of ours are generic. So you can use them any month of the year that you want. If you want to match the Erin Condren, great. Um, but we, they don't come in and out of the shop. So whatever we have in the shop for kids, we will we keep in the shop. So you don't have to think, well, I wanted that kit and I didn't get it because it will still be in the shop. Um, so this is, this one was one of our first kits. So thick washi headers and thin. This one is um, the one that I laid down for December, for my December planning, so I can show that one to you inside the kit. Um, and so what we've added starting in November is we added kind of a planner kit and the budget kit. So for this one, um, these are the stickers that Megan showed you earlier, the Winter Wonderland. These are the side boxes and the quarter boxes. Um, the date covers, and then I did lay down some of her stickers. Um, this is the monthly budget. These are the paycheck one, two, and three. Um, this is a different font that is different than the one we showed earlier. It's a little bit smaller to fit within the lines. Um, and then the washi and the headers, the fixed expenses, the weekly check-in, and then the transaction log. And then what I have started doing is on the front page is to do my business expenses up here, my monthly budget goals, birthdays or anything that's different coming up this month. And then there's thin washi on the budget kit that kind of can take away some of the color of the kit itself, you know, of the, the binder. So this is what we're, we're calling our planner kit and that comes with the date covers, the thinner washi that covers for here, the thicker washi that covers up here, so it's a little bit longer than the other washi, and then the side, um, the full boxes, and then the half boxes and the quarter boxes. And then you also get another um, of the thin washi. So if you don't wanna do the budget kit, but you wanted to do the planner part of it, you, could, you would have enough washi and items to do those. And then we also sell an additional um, quarter boxes and half boxes that are in that same color family that goes with that. And those were part of the planner part of it. So this is the kit for that went with this one. And then this is the one that is that I'm using for December. But again, it's generic. It's not holiday. It, you know, it's got red and gray. I didn't use traditional Christmas colors at all. And then um, this one is coming into the shop. It's brand new. I haven't finished the planner part of it yet, but um, I will have that done and posted. So this will be the thick washi, the budget headers, the thin washi, and then of course you would also get the, the script stickers that come in every set. They look like that. And then a very quick sneak peek. Did you show you the thick washi? Yeah, that one, like that one. Um, these are two that are coming into the kit. So this would be a, um, a different holiday one if you wanted to do it for holiday. Um, it has red and green, but it has this little tiny kind of bell or like a silver I don't know what you would call it. Almost like an ornament, but not really an ornament in there. Um, we did pick up the pink and the green because those were colors that really kind of stood out more. Um, but this is the thin washi and the thick washi. And then we'll also have the budget headers um, and the planner kit as well. And then this will be um, the other kit that will be coming in. And this has the thick washi and the thin washi, and we have not printed out yet the rest of the kit. So that will be available in the shop as well. So what our plan will be is to have everything listed by Thursday night. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're gonna be offering 20% off everything in the shop, free shipping over $35. 
Um, if it's custom work, we will still absolutely honor any custom orders and you can see all throughout our shop where you can order custom, whether it be what font you want, the actual word that you want. So if you're looking for labels for your envelope, say you have 12 words and we can customize those to whatever 12 words you would want them to be either regular or foiled, and then what color foil you would like. So you see customization throughout the shop. We're also gonna be offering custom script stickers. So if you have something that you repeatedly write in your planner um, and that you want a script sticker for, then we can definitely look at that too. And again, you have six different fonts that you can choose from. So everything in the shop will be 20% off. We're going to run it through the weekend we probably will stop before Cyber Monday just because I think there's so many other things happening on Cyber Monday, um, but definitely wanted an opportunity to introduce um, everyone to the shop, but also to kind of stock up and get ready for the holidays as well as the new year. Um, I don't know about you, but I know in January I really, you know, I spend a lot in December and I try to really watch my pennies in January so I always buy anything I know I'm gonna need for January in December when I don't feel guilty and then I have it when I need it in January February so that is how I work and I hope I, I assume everybody else <laughs> works just like that so thank you so much for watching we will have our November wrap up and December cash stuffing up by Friday if not sooner um, I can't believe November is gone already but um, I really enjoy doing the envelopes and kind of laying out the budget and getting all that out so that um, you can hopefully learn something from our videos as I know I learn constantly from other YouTubers out there in the budgeting and planning space. So thank you so much for watching and have an amazing Thanksgiving if you are in the United States. Bye.